Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you could probably tell by the title, I will be doing a basics haul and I have been pretty much been cleaning out my wardrobe, kind of getting rid of all the stuff that I don't actually want and I don't wear and then replacing it with a capsule wardrobe. So I've done quite a lot of shopping when it comes to all my basics. So yeah, so I thought I'd show you and give you some inspiration for some of the basics that you may need in your wardrobe. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm going to start off with Marks and Spencers. So I always used to use Marks and Spencers just for my underwear. I never really shopped in there because I kind of always felt like the brand was more aimed at like older women rather than like someone who's in their 20s. But I feel like as I've got older and I'm like 29 this year, I feel like I'm swaying towards a lot of stuff that's in Marks and Spencers and they have some great pieces in there, like some really good basic stuff. So yeah, so I've bought quite a few things from Marks and Spencers and this first thing may not necessarily be a basic, it's more of a trend led piece, but I feel like I might get a lot of wear out of it. So I've actually gone for a denim I say this is more of a midi skirt anyway rather than a maxi skirt because I feel like a maxi skirt is just a bit too long for me but I've seen these everywhere and I wanted to try it I was kind of getting a bit of envy so I wanted to try it give it a go and yeah I actually do really like this skirt I was a little bit worried because I have a bit of a tummy that it would actually kind of show it off a lot more but it actually looks all right and uh, even my mum turned around and said to me that it looks fine so it's a little, tiny little bit bigger on my waist so I do have to wear a belt with it but I really like this piece and I feel like it would look great in the summer with like some sandals um, even just like a strappy vest or you know a basic t-shirt something like that so yeah this is one of the pieces that I got which I didn't think I would love but I actually do so next up we have these navy trousers I've got like a black pair of trousers and I've got a pair of black linen trousers but not so much navy which I kind of feel like is a bit more softer than wearing black and I saw these on Instagram and I was like oh I really would want some and I was trailing everywhere all over the internet for like a nice navy pair of trousers and yes yeah, so I found these ones in Marks and Spencers and they've got a drawstring waist which I think is great especially as well like because I have quite big hips compared to my waist so this is quite nice um, yeah they're really comfy on as well really comfy but yeah they've got pockets which is nice to always have some pockets but yeah I feel like I'm having a obsession with navy at the moment I feel like it's one of those color combinations like if you have navy and white with some like tan accessories it's quite classy quite expensive looking so yeah I feel like navy is really having a moment in my wardrobe <laughs> And then with that being said, I have also got a navy top. It's quite like a, a fine knit, which I think is great for the summertime. Um, because like here in the UK we don't necessarily have like quite hot hot weather. Um with that being said, it's supposed to be 29 degrees today, which is why my hair is back. Um <laughs> so yeah, we're currently having a heat wave. But I feel like this is great for like the days where it feels a little bit chilly, so you kind of got your arms covered, but it's still thin enough so you're not gonna get too hot. So yeah, I do really like that and I quite like, I feel like it's a bit more of an updated version of like a basic tee with like the v-neck and the collar top and it's kind of giving me old money vibes. Um, I kind of envision this like wearing this top with some white shorts and like a tan belt and some sliders. Makes it sound like as if I'm going to play tennis. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, the kind of vibe I'm going for, a very classic style and then yes I have even more navy but I've got a striped version so again it's a fine knit top um but I just wanted it in stripes I feel like stripes is just a great classic like pattern to have in your wardrobe and I feel like stripes is just it's not too much it's not too much in your face so yeah so I decided to get the stripe kind of like a striped knitted version as well so next up I've got this linen blend blazer um, it's kind of more in like a neutral colour so I feel like if you're going to wear like an all white outfit and add this over the top it kind of like lifts it up a little bit and adds different textures and just makes your outfit a little bit more interesting. So it has like this ruched 
um, roll up sleeve which is great for me because I always roll up my sleeves with blazers I never ever have them down um, I think it's just more of a styling trick of the fact that because my waist is small I like to show it off so if I roll my sleeves up then it makes my waist look smaller um, but yeah it's all open I quite like my blazers a little bit more fitted rather than being like oversized um, I'm not really a oversized blazer person or anything oversized I just feel like it drowns my shape which I don't really like so yeah so I thought this would look quite nice even with the navy trousers I thought this would look great so yeah I really do like this one and then last up from Max and Spencer is we have this bag I am pretty sure you have probably seen this bag somewhere because I know the black one literally I think probably went viral everywhere and it was always constantly sold out but I wanted a nice tan bag and I've been on the hunt pretty much everywhere and I couldn't find one that was like a nice tan colour like it was a bit more like dark brown or yeah I'm quite fussy when it comes to certain colours but I wanted a really nice tan colour so it looked great for the summer so yeah so I did um, end up buying this one I do really like the bag so I may necessarily buy it in the black but I do like this so yeah I look great with um, some tan sliders in the summer so yeah fabulous so moving on to Zara so this next one is also probably more of a trend led piece but I have seen it everywhere and I can probably guarantee you have probably seen it everywhere and it's the bomber jacket so I used to have a bomber jacket years ago when I was a teenager and I used to wear it to school but the bomber jacket always hit me on my hips and it was more like those that's the best way to describe it more like a parachute kind of <laughs> jacket is the best way I can describe it with like that shiny material and looking back on it it was probably one of the biggest faux pas I think I've ever had in my life and but I loved it at the time and then when I saw that bomber jackets were going to be a trend this year I was thinking oh god I was like that's just not one for me at all and then I saw these ones in Zara where they are cropped got some shoulder pads and I'm thinking they actually really suit my shape because it bounces out my hips with the shoulder pads and it's cropped so it goes in at my waist and it still shows off my waist so I thought I'd give it a go and oh my god I think I am obsessed so yeah there is nothing wrong with wearing trend pieces in your wardrobe as long as it suits your body shape and it works for your lifestyle there is nothing wrong with that if it doesn't tick them two boxes the trend is probably not for you so yeah I got it in black so it pretty much go with anything but it's quite lightweight as well which is nice and I thought obviously being spring which feels currently summer outside but it'd be nice just to chuck on something you know just an outfit just to keep you a little bit warm so I'll probably wear the sleeves up roll them up as per usual but yeah so I feel like I might get a lot of wear out of this especially as well in like the autumn time after obviously we've had our heat so yeah I'm really looking forward to wearing this so I also bought this jacket as well it's more like a woven kind of well they call it a woven bomber jacket but it doesn't really look like a bomber jacket to me but it's a little bit more bigger than I suppose I wanted it to be but it actually works quite well um, so yeah it's cropped again I probably roll up the sleeves because they're quite wide but it's quite a nice lightweight jacket um, especially for the spring so yeah I just like pairing it I think like with trousers or you know high waisted trousers that so goes in my waist but yeah I do really like this and I like the colour of it as well I like wearing lightweight like what's the word I'm thinking of bright neutrals I'm guessing um, for spring so yeah definitely love this so I brought another blazer because <laughs> obviously I am obsessed with blazers I think blazers is probably one of my biggest staples when it comes to my wardrobe because I just feel like it goes with everything you can wear it over dresses you can wear it over shorts you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with trousers they are just endless the amount of like outfits that you can make so yeah, so I got this one. I always feel like I'm on the hunt for like a really good 
white blazer because I feel like it's one thing I do struggle to find that I really do love um, so I bought this one and it's like a it's a linen blend so hopefully it won't crease as much as if I had a pure linen but it's supposed to be white but I don't know if it feels a little bit like an off-white to me but yeah I sized up like I went the size bigger than what I'd normally go for so I'd normally go for a medium because I quite like mine really fitted but I decided to go out for a large um, and yeah I do really like this and I feel like as well like for the evenings and the summer I could just wear them over a pair of shorts or even like date night something like that so yeah, I think, fingers crossed, I may have found the perfect white blazer. So yeah, I'll let you know on that one. So I've got these jeans and these are the marine straight jeans. Now I bought these in white and I saw they do loads of different colours and I kind of wanted like a blue bit more like a lighter blue because quite a lot of my denim is quite dark denim like indigo kind of that sort of colour so I wanted a bit of a lighter colour for the spring summer so I thought I'd give these ones a go and they do come up very small I've had to size up two times so these are like a size 16 to actually get them to fit to me they are slightly slightly a bit too big on my waist but I can just put a belt with them but yeah, I thought I'd give these ones a go. I feel like it's a really nice blue. It says it's medium blue. Um, but yeah, I do really like these. They kind of hit just on my ankle. So they look good like even with like trainers or some ballet flats or some sliders for the summer. So yeah, I thought I'd get a jeans because you can't really go wrong with a basic pair of jeans that are good and fitting for you. I got this shirt. Now... To me it's more of a dupe of the Lily Silk shirt and obviously this isn't silk, <laughs> this is satin but it looks very similar to that shirt and I feel like you really cannot go wrong with a striped shirt and I feel like the satin kind of gives it a bit more of a more expensive feel rather than just a normal shirt um, but yeah I really do like this. Um, so yeah, I feel like it kind of updates your outfit, um, updates your basics really, and you could probably wear it with like, I don't know, even like with some pair of white shorts, um, some white trousers, just to give that classy, expensive feel. So yeah, it's um, a very good dupe for the Lily Silk, so I probably will one day get that, but for now, this is great dupe. So I picked up a couple of things in Kos. Kos are fantastic for when it comes to basic things, especially their t-shirts. I wanted to get a new t-shirt because you just cannot go wrong with a white t-shirt and I love their more heavyweight t-shirts because they're not as see-through as obviously when you get like a normal t-shirt and it just feels more smoother the fabric feels a lot nicer and it just makes your outfit look a lot better and more expensive um so yeah so i actually ended up buying two of these because i feel like i live and die in a white t-shirt um especially with the summer as well so at least i know if that's in a wash i can reach for my other one so yeah definitely great and if you not entirely sure if you what one from cost there's also like Arquette or and other stories they do some great basic t-shirts so yeah check them out I also picked up this linen shirt from cost now I'm not normally a lover of wearing black I have always always been a color person and I feel like my style is just evolving and it's changing and I feel like as I'm getting older yes I should probably reach for the color more as I'm getting older rather than the black but I feel like I've never had that phase in my life where I've worn the neutral colours, I've worn the blacks, all the whites, it's always been you know like the blues, the pinks, the reds, and don't get me wrong I do still have reds and pinks because they're like my favourite colours but 
yeah, so I thought I'd go for a linen shirt. So it's not a full length, it's only like a half sleeve, which I quite like. Um, because if I do get like a little bit cold, because my arms always get so cold, at least it's covering like a part of my arm. So yeah, I feel like this would look great though with even as an all black outfit, some linen black linen trousers with tucked it in and then have like a black belt, um not black, a brown belt just to kind of break it up. I feel like that would look lovely. Like stunning summer outfits. So yeah, um I do have a lot of linen and I feel like linen is like my absolute hero when it comes to summer. So yeah, so I feel like getting a black shirt in linen yeah you can't go wrong next up we have mint velvet now i've never tried mint velvet before and i thought i'd give it a go they are a little bit more like expensive in terms of price wise but everything i've brought from mint velvet i have not been disappointed in and i feel like the material is like more quality it feels a bit more premium so yeah starting off actually with this top that i'm wearing now it comes out down quite low actually I think it comes to like my hips kind of waist at uh, hips waist down to my hips so yeah it's just like this plain striped tank top Um, I feel like you just can't go wrong with a tank top Um, especially in a stripe do another stripe kind of a bit more updated than just a regular white or black um, tank top so yeah I thought I'd give this one a go and it actually feels really nice on and it feels very soft Um, so yeah this is definitely a good piece to have. So the next thing I got was actually a bit more of an investment piece and it's the trench coat. So a trench coat is the one thing that was missing from my wardrobe that I just didn't have, but I feel like I have spent years trying to find a trench coat that I actually do really like. And especially as well at the moment as they've gone all oversized rather than the classic style. And like I said before, I'm not really an oversized person. Um, when it comes to like coats and jackets so I saw this in mint velvet now it's not a traditional trench coat in terms of the fabric it's more of like a duster coat so it's quite thin which is perfect for like the spring summer months it was on the pricier side but I feel like this is going to be something that I'm just going to wear year after year after year so I'm definitely going to get my cost per wear um, I do really like the colour of it as well, it's a bit like a, I don't know, like a, I can't remember what they said it was, like a beigey, off-white kind of colour. Um, so yeah, very neutral and it will pretty much go with everything. So yeah, this is something I would definitely get a lot of wear out of. I have already worn it, <laughs> um, but yeah, I honestly... I think I found the perfect trench coat for me and I am probably in love with it. And then last up we have this cute little set. Now they do come separately but they are advertised together but I think it's so goddamn cute. Yes I probably have brought too many striped things but this is more obviously a v-neck and it just sits lovely with this cardigan now this cardigan is giving me like proper old money vibes um i actually wore this to london um the last week actually um and i paired it with some black linen trousers and some converse style trainers and it just looks so cute together so yeah i do feel like we do need a cardigan when it comes to like the spring summer months just to have something just to cover your shoulders um, and cover your arms and I you just you I'm sorry you just cannot go wrong with a stripe um, but I do love like the gold details as well because I'm a huge lover of gold and um, if you can already tell but yeah I just think this is so damn cute so yeah I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this and that's the end of my basics haul i hope i've given you some inspiration for some of the basics that you can incorporate into your wardrobe um i will put all the outfit links in the description box down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye